Tainem. Eh, tiene la palabra el señor Hayes. Thank you, uh, President. Uh, on behalf of the Development Committee and the opinion we managed to uh, bring near unanimity in terms of our committee, we welcome this report and congratulate Mrs. Berta for the work she has done and equally we congratulate the Commission on their ambitious action plan. It is worth staying, saying, President, we are talking here about an illegal activity which has been recognised to be close to 19 billion US dollars in terms of the scale globally. We're talking about the fourth largest legal, uh, uh, illegal activity uh, on the planet. And Europe is not just uh, a, a, a taker of this, act, uh, of this illegal activity. It is also a significant transit point. So we have responsibilities. We have signed up to a UN convention. And as the Commissioner has said, it is now about implementation. It's about getting it done member state by member state and calling out those member states where there is an insufficiency of response in terms of that UN mandate. So we very much support uh, what Mrs. Vera has, has put forward in this particular resolution. The Development Committee fully supports uh, the work that she has uh, brought to Parliament in terms of this plenary session. We expect a substantial support uh, for this uh, in the House tomorrow. And it is worth saying, as she rightly said, that the public is ahead of politicians here. The public is demanding action for this Ill illegal activity. They're demanding an international coordinated response. And if it does not start here within the European Union across the 28 member states, it can't start anywhere. And I think that is the message that needs to come from this debate this evening. Thank you, President. Gracias. Señora McCartin. Illegal wildlife trade is a global problem with implications that go beyond wildlife, the threat to our ecosystems as well as our global security. Sharp increases in wildlife crime and the increasing involvement of organized criminals